As a frequent traveler of the world, the TBC's Director General has realized that Africa is misrepresented by the Western media. I try to flip through the channels to find out am I likely to see Africa. And believe you me, I would be surprised that the only time I would see Africa would be if there's war, if there's calamity, if there's something negative happening in Africa, which would be reported in a very demeaning way. Number two is if I'm watching something from the Serengeti. So you see those cousins of ours, eh? the zebras and, you know, and... Uh, the elephants and, and, and what have you. Dr. Ayub Riopa Chacha says the Western media often reserve certain adjectives for Africa and not other continents like Europe. You read a story about Rwanda, it's probably 1994 during the genocide. And you have a sentence going like, in the tiny, war-torn, AIDS-ravaged, poverty-stricken central African country of Rwanda. Those adjectives in the tiny. But I've never heard Western media refer to Luxembourg as the tiny. Never. Speaking at the Southern African Broadcasting Association Saba event at Swakopmund, Dr. Chacha commended efforts by the Saba board to set up a TV channel that will tell the stories of the region. He, however, cautioned Saba to learn from the mistakes of others who have tried to set up similar platforms in the past. It is a lesson to us that if Pan-African news agents failed to take off, in the face of the barrage of uh, information flow from Western uh, media or from media in the global north, and if Salim Amin's effort also failed. We should also be prepared to learn from those failures, find out why they failed. Saba TV is almost ready to launch with 150,000 hours worth of content produced by creatives at public broadcasters in Southern Africa.